Hey, YouTube. So these church folks are still riding Leandra Johnson back. <clears throat> and from what I hear from Brother Reed, Brother Larry Reed, Larry Reed Live, broadcast last evening, Kim Burrell may have something to do with it. Now, wouldn't that be something? People, of course, I do have an opinion. First of all, I'd like to say Leandra Johnson. Think Aretha Franklin. Think Aretha Franklin. You don't owe those. Listen, church people gave you your break. You got on this TV show, did your thing. You won, honestly, in that contest, right? But those people don't own you. Those people do not own you. You don't have to become some gospel legend because you won a, a TV show. We don't even know how how invested Leon Johnson was in, in this Christianity thing. Maybe that's why it's easier for her to, to speak the way she spoke because she was never that into it in the first place. We don't know that. We know a young woman got up there and sang a heart out on a TV show. You don't know them people in your life. I don't know why you can't be out just talking about they call him Dr. Feel Good. And oh, hey, good God Almighty. Ooh. Think Aretha Franklin, honey. You do not have to sing gospel music for the rest of your life. If these people treat you badly, to hell with them. You, honey, to hell with them. Secular music will always be bigger than gospel. Gospel is a small fraction of the music industry. Maybe... It's true that these companies, some of these big companies, RCA Records and all these, Sony and all that, they have a gospel uh, section or element in their in their companies, but it's the smallest, I can assure you, it is the smallest part of their business. You can sing secular music. You can, honey, think Aretha Franklin. That's what I have for you, uh, Leandra Johnson. I think it's a damn shame that they are still, as a month ago, they're still reading this woman riding this woman's back and cutting off her income and trying to destroy her career because she said cuss words. People, do you know that people murder people? Do you know that there are ministers, there are pastors in your church screwing the congregation, working their way through? Do you know that a lot of those people, they wanted to be famous. You made these pastors famous, right? They want to be famous so they can have their way with women. Did you know that that exists in your church? So much adultery in your church. Now you say homosexuality, is, oh, that's the, oh, somebody's a homosexual. Honey, that is just reality. When are you people going to stop denying God's creation? It's God's creation. It exists. It exists in the earth. Just like the, the, the earth is not flat, it is round, it is a fact. No matter what that book says, no matter what it says, that book doesn't cover everything. The book was written thousands of years ago. People didn't know anything. Hell, let me go ask the cavemen about aerospace. Anyway, so they're not. They're, they have canceled this woman's uh, uh, concerts. Still, I wonder how long this is gonna last. Are you just gonna beat up on her a while? Do you feel like she's she's been punished? Or are you going to actually ruin this woman's life? And what the hell does this have to do with Kim Burrell? She was supposed to be the... She, uh, I think Leandria was like her protege. There's several clips on YouTube with them singing together. You mean to tell me that your mentor, the one who brought you into the music industry, the gospel music industry, that's the very one who betrays you? That's the one that's trying to cancel you out of concerts? I don't know enough about that story, and I'm hoping that more will be revealed. But Kim Burrell would have a lot of... But see, it wouldn't surprise me, because Kim Burrell is evil. Kim Burrell is an evil woman. She has an evil heart. She's always talking about spirits. Her spirit is evil. That's why she's able to talk all that shit about us. If she had an ounce of compassion in her, she wouldn't be able to do that. She would instantly see, okay, I, I, what I'm saying is hurting someone. I have a dream. <laughs> this is my dream, that one day what Kim Burrell does will be the story. Not some woman saying a cuss word or two or three cuss words on their own private periscope. We're going to have to get used to, used to what this internet thing is. 
if Leandro don't want to go that way and, and uh, sing secular music, because believe me, there are a lot of people who have hostility towards the church. You would not be out there on your own, honey. There are a lot of people who will feel much more your, your case than theirs. Whole lot of people. The audience would be huge. It would certainly be bigger than the little gospel thing. So, was that Woody Allen said? I would not want to be a. Uh, uh, I would not want to be accepted by. I don't know. I don't want to be. You don't want me. You want to blackball me and show me your power and your. your the hell with you. The hell with you. Walk away from it. I would love to hear her singing some good uh, soulful songs, something from her heart, something that you feel. I get the impression that Leandra Johnson won that damn Sunday best and got dragged into something that she really never even considered being a part of. I believe that. I believe that. That's, and they're getting the result of that. So producers of Sunday best, you should take this. Okay, here's what happens. This is what could happen when you take people and you put them in a contest and then you thrust them into a, a middle of gospel music world. You're going to have to learn to work with people. You're going to have, if I were a record company, has class what's next. When they start canceling her concerts and stuff and punishing her, putting their expensive boots in her neck, the record company is going to eventually say, this is not profitable for us anymore, any longer. And they're going to cancel her career. Now you're going to ruin this woman behind cuss words. I don't think she said anything that was not true. It was about cuss words. Didn't we just have Brian Karn, a man come on here and say that Brian Karn was screwing his, his wife? He was screwing his musician's wife. But he, at least he didn't say a cuss word. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. It's so ridiculous. You're punishing this woman. What are we, two months into this? A month, two months into this? Leave that woman alone. Let that woman work out her issues. If you care about a woman so much, try to counsel her. Oh, I know a great therapist. Maybe I can recommend that. Maybe she would, well, maybe she'll resist it, and maybe she won't. But you guys ain't even tried. Just throw her away. Cancel her. I don't think anybody comes to a concert is going to not come because Leandra Johnson is there. Considering all the, the, you know, you love the word sin, all the things that go on in the churches and these greedy ass uh, pastors who are just in it for a buck many times. After a while, they may come in with the right intentions, but after that money starts coming in, honey, it is addictive. Money is extremely addictive. You will never find anybody with a lot of money who don't want any more. Honey, there ain't but a handful of Bill Gates in the world. And he's had so much he could do it. Most people... They get money and they want more. That's what happens to these pastors. And they've got you people convinced that you are supposed to support this uh, rock star mega church thing. You want to talk about what's not in the Bible? Are mega churches in the Bible? Oh, Jesus had 5,000 there. He didn't have a church. Stop putting that on that man. This church was born after his death, remember? Mega churches. Oh, the pastor got to have a Rolls Royce so we can see the success. Oh, look at my pastor. Look at my pastor. You sound like hoes talking about their pimp. Anyway, anyway, anyway. So we're going to find out if, if Kim Burrell has anything to do with blackballing this girl. And, and that is an evil move. Evil. Evil move if that's what's really going on. But I'm not going to speak on it too much because you know I don't like Kim Burrell at all. I think she's an evil woman. I think she's an evil person, an evil spirit. So I, uh, I I cannot wait to jump down her throat. But I have to know that she's done something that would deserve that kind of critique. You guys need to leave that woman, Leandra, alone. I think what she's going to find, she's kind of probably afraid now that she's messed up her career and she's going to be thrust out there and have nothing. That is not the truth. There are millions of people who are hostile towards the Christian church. They're not mad at you. Honey, they are not mad at you. Get on YouTube and see what they feel, think about that situation. Only the, 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 the hypnotized care that you came online and said a bad word. 
If I were Lee Andrew Johnson, I'd say, okay, record company. Or if I was a record company, I can put it in my contract that I won't be on social media. <laughs> I won't be on social media. We have to understand what this thing is and how powerful this social media thing is. We have to understand that you could say something in your bathroom into your cell phone and that could be broadcast all over the world. This woman is obviously not aware or was not uh, uh, clearly aware of the power of this internet thing. She didn't realize that with a few words, a few words, she could destroy herself because of this social media. You think these people weren't screwing uh, the congregations and stealing money and doing all kinds of ungodly things in, in these the churches long before now? We just didn't know about it. it this is the internet. This is the internet, and people need to understand what that means. If you record companies have to go start writing in your contract, because in this instance, Leandra is like Trump. They can't stay away from the internet. Can't stay away from the internet. How many times we caught Trump saying something absolutely stupid on Twitter? Same thing Leandra's doing. Baby, you got to realize, let that bullshit go. You don't need it. You stay busy. Work, pay your bills. Stay busy, work, pay your bills. They are paying to see you sing. Sing, sing. Go on stage, do your song, and then you keep your personal stuff to yourself. That's my advice to you, Leandra Johnson. And I will be watching this story, Miss Burrell.